What's up guys? Jeff here. Lighting. Wow. Alright, what's up guys? Jeff here. Uh, today, a little bit different of a day. Uh, today's my birthday. 40 years of age. And still kicking. So we're doing good. Um, but Friday, this week has been incredibly slow. And today picked up pretty good. We beat last Friday, so that's good. Um, and from a sales perspective, um, we almost doubled last Friday. So I was wondering, you know, if things were heading in the right direction or not, but um, we definitely uh, made up for it towards the end of the week. Did get a fish delivery today, and I'll kind of point out some of uh, the things that were of interest to me in this delivery. Um, the biggest being, and I don't know if I see any present out and about right now, no. So we got some clown placos, uh, which are pretty cool. Uh, it looks like one, uh, the butt end of one right there, uh, under the filter. But I had a rock that was getting some allergy on it, I left the allergy on the glass, and then the shell has it as well, so I wanted to make sure that they had a little something to chew on. But we got those. We got some um, Neon Dwarf Rainbows, which as soon as I put the camera in the tank, they took off. They're basically just a bigger version of these guys, uh, which I probably shouldn't have these guys on the bottom rack because they're very pretty fish. Um, but these new ones were a little bit too big, so I didn't want to put them with those guys. Uh, so they got their own tank, and I threw the Playcos in there as well. Been selling quite a few of these Dwarf Neon Blue Grommies. Uh, there's not many left, or about half Half have been sold so far. These are probably my most favorite new fish right here. The uh, Pictus, I hope I'm saying that right. If not, whatever. Uh, the Pictus Catfish. These guys are a little thin right now. Um, I need to get like a piece of driftwood in there or something. But they are a very active catfish. Um, and they're, I guess, uh, Good for community tanks because they just kind of mind their own business. Uh, but something a little bit different, something you don't see every day. And then uh, for a customer, and I figured I'd pick up a couple more. We've got some albino rainbow sharks. These guys are pretty interesting. Looks like they're trying to go to bed. Um, it's funny, sharks, I've always thought, you know, it's like weird that they have a freshwater fish named a shark. But these guys kind of remind me of reef sharks when they're feeding, which is pretty funny. Like there was some blood worms that had gotten up under the sponge and they are all like going after it, like a bunch of white tips going after an octopus or something. Uh, but interesting fish, customer had asked for some albino rainbows. I ended up buying I think like 10 or so. Not a terribly expensive fish, but uh, we got them for them. Interesting behavior on them guys. Uh, we did get some swords and some assorted swords. We got some palladies. I uh, went after the Cardinals again. These are tank raised Cardinals. Uh, they looked a little down, a little down, uh, but they're a little bit fatter than the ones I got on the first delivery of fish. And what I like about Cardinals in comparison to Neons, which I got some tank raised Neons down over here. These guys are beast mode. Beast mode! But with the coloration, with the Cardinals, their color goes completely through them. Now these guys are a little bit toned down right now, but I, they're all pretty full. Fed them some blood worms. They're pretty happy. And we got some feeder guppies. I bought them all. I bought all the feeder guppies. Um, at the very least, we'll make sure that the tanks can handle a lot of fish. I got three tanks of feeder guppies right now because I had so many of them. And actually, I put some in the quarantine system as well. Uh, but yeah, oh, we got some uh, Danny O, Danny O dinos. We got some zebra golds. And we got some leopard long fins. I think there's a normal leopard in there too. But interesting little, little buggers. Oh, and I had to put these two in their own tank uh, yesterday. 
So we had quite a few of them in here that they started taking taking them out one by one, taking out the competition. This male and this female basically were just beating the heck out of the female that was in here. And my other half standing next to me, she's like, oh, they're, they're beating them up. We gotta take them out. And I'm like, all right. And I just grabbed the net and went, boop, put them over here. And then the female that was getting beat up started showing color and then started beating up these albinos. So can't hate a fish for what is built inside it. Um, but maybe somebody will buy these two, take them as a pair, uh, and uh, see if they can make some babies, or maybe I'll keep them trying to make some babies. I did have a customer come in today that breeds uh, albino cribs, so uh, might do a little bit of wheeling and dealing with him, but love these Pictus catfish. Uh, probably will get more for them. I, I'd like to get a piece of driftwood in there, maybe a plant or two, uh, just to make them feel a little bit more at home. But yeah, we got some new fish today. Um, had a lot of folks come in. We sold a little bit of fish. The first hour, man, like, I opened the doors. The first hour, boom, like right out the gate. A lot of repeat customers, which is awesome. Uh, folks who watch the videos, got to meet some subscribers, long time subscribers. And uh, got some fish in, sold some corals, sold some hermit crabs, some snails. It was a good day. It was a good day. So tomorrow is Saturday. I hope to uh, do well tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, today we doubled sales in comparison to last Friday, so let's try to double sales on uh, last Saturday. I'll be happy to tie. I'll be happy to tie. Um, I think at some point, oh, I did, oh, I shut the lights off. Uh, I did get some betas. Got some betas. And before the beta police start calling, um, I already have ordered bigger containers because these are a little bit small. Um, we got some double tail half moons, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. And then we got some good old fashioned male beta. Male beta. And then we got some crowns. Some crowns, we got a crown over here. So, slowly expanding, slowly carrying more and more fish, slowly becoming an aquarium store. Um, oh, look at that one. Wowza. Pretty cool. Um, but coming along, everything's coming along. Those I can't get over those feeder guppies, man. I ordered a box. I didn't think they were gonna give me the whole store. <laughs> so many of them. I'll never need another feeder guppy again until I come in tomorrow and half of them are perished. That is a ton of guppy. Ton of guppy. So it was a good day. Um, hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Right now I got a couple things I need to do before I get out of here. I'm starting uh, to mix up some new salt water. I want to kind of get this guy to at least 100. I think I was down to 60 on there. And then if I can get this to 120, I'll feel comfortable running the RO system overnight. Because uh, I should be able to put out at least at the minimum up to 180 tomorrow. And then we have a little bit of salt water, so I'll mix this up tonight. We'll have that RO ready to go, so kind of splitting our difference there. Uh, so we got that going on. Water box is looking good. And then one of you had asked about uh, phytoplankton and how that was going. Uh, not well. The phytoplankton has not gone well. Uh, we're on round two. Right now we got Two different species of phytoplankton right there. We got some ISO, and then we got the nano going. I got uh, two, I have two other species of phytoplankton up front that I'm gonna start culturing tomorrow. I need to go get a better light. Um, better light, a little bit more air. Need a little bit more air up there. But I got four species of phytoplankton in house right now. This is the, uh, 
Tetra. That is the Chato. I feel like deja vu right now. Did we already do this? I think we might have already done this. Got the ISO, and then the Nano. So I got four species of phytoplankton that I'm going to try to culture. I got a hold of my live food guide today. Uh, he's going to be giving me a shipment of a couple gallons of uh, copa pods. And um, he's going to give me some copa pods. He's going to send me up some uh, spirulina, uh, which is, I'm not sure if that's freshwater phytoplankton or not. Um, he's going to be sending me some of that. Uh, he's going to be sending me some Daphnia for the freshwater folk. And that's about it. So I got copy pods that I'm culturing in the back. Hopefully we're going to have five-ish species of phytoplankton, which I don't plan on offering four species. I mean, if people are interested in four species, I'll probably offer four species online, uh, but in shop, uh, maybe we'll do a mix because who really is going to benefit from, unless they're trying to culture it on their own. Um, but we're going to offer four species online, a phytoplankton, um, or five, the spirulina, spirulina. Um, I'm gonna have some Kobe pods up in here, some Daphnia, then I'm gonna probably start hatching some brine shrimp here pretty soon as well. But, uh, oh, we're up to 100 gallons. Oh boy. So I feel pretty comfortable now. I'm gonna try to get this down to 120. Uh, this is my RO tank. Get that down to 120. Put the rest over here. I think I started this at 160, so I'll throw in a bag and a half of salt. Get that mixed up tonight. I'll come in and check it tomorrow. Make some adjustments between water and salinity and all that. Um, I hope I got a cord long enough for that pump. I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, we'll get that mixed up, ready for tomorrow. Because I use a lot of water. A lot of water. Um, but I gotta get caught back up. I really should be doing that in the week, not heading into Saturday. It's just kind of foolish. Um, but yeah, good day. Had a bunch of customers come in. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.